Hey all you minions and mercenaries, it's time for episode 16 of Behind the Heroes, where we take an in-depth look at the heroes of Heroes of the Storm, and we have another new release just today. I wasn't even expecting this, I mean, they, they kind of announced him, I don't even like a week ago, and I that he was coming, and, and here he is, I, I didn't expect this at all, but we have Kael'thas, the, uh, Do not waste time, join me in battle. Who is, who is ready to get going, so let's not waste any time and uh, start looking at his abilities. We have Flame Strike, after short delay, deal a damage in an area. We have Living Bomb, a deal damage over three seconds to an enemy, and then they explode, damaging all nearby enemies. Uh, casting a second Living Bomb on an enemy causes the previous one to explode immediately. And we have a Gravity Lapse, stun the first enemy hit for uh, 1.5 seconds. And his heroic abilities, we have Phoenix. Launch a Phoenix to an area, dealing 10 damage to enemies along the way. The Phoenix persists for 7 seconds, attacking enemies for 10 damage and splashing for 50%. Pretty wordy there. And then we have Pyroblast, a classic mage fire spell. After 2 seconds, cast a slow-moving fireball that deals 300 damage to an enemy hero and 150 damage to enemies nearby. And then his combat trait, which which actually applies to some of his abilities, but I was gonna you know cover this first before I swing back around. Activate to make your next a basic ability more powerful. So if you saw the, on those tooltips that I kind of skipped over, this is what happens when you activate his tooltip for his flame strike. It increases the radius by 50% and deals 111 damage. If you activate it for his living bomb, it makes his ability cast cost no mana and have no cooldowns. So that seems pretty powerful right there. And Gravity Lapse, if you use his um, Verdant Spheres, causes Gravity Lapse to stun the first three enemies hit. So it kind of acts as an extra splash there. So this is definitely an interesting ability. Cooldown is six seconds. Wow, that is pretty potent. But it's going to be awful, you know, it's awful tricky to try to keep, you know, spamming that before you use any of these abilities. Sometimes you want to do something on the spur of the moment. And having to activate one ability before another... Could, you know, could take some practice, could take some skill. So definitely a little skill to this hero. Maybe not as high a skill cap as some other ones, but definitely a challenge. So if we take a look at some of his skins, we've got the irregular Kael'thas with his, you know, verdant spheres already flaming above his head. And we can go for a little more of a... It kind of looks like a frosting, frosty elf there, and that's... Uh, what's the difference between that and that? Just different color robes and different color hair, I guess. And then we have the Master Kael'thas, which, eh, not too bad, not too bad. Um, oh, they even have a little progression here. Or, oh, it's just indicating... I, I don't know what it's indicating, but we won't worry about that right now, and we'll try uh, Join me that. In battle. Okay, that one's, that one's a little bit different. And the other ones are just, you know, kind of just changing around the yellows and golds and, and blondes and whatever but this one's actually a little bit different right there going for more of a green look in here and then we've got steampunk Kael'thas which is wow that is quite interesting and his, his orbs are now kind of floating uh, mechanical balls of I don't know what they are and we check some of the variations there very nice right there actually I'm gonna try this I'm gonna try this skin if that's all right with everyone. So let's just give him a try, throw him right into the Nexus, see if we can't figure this out. The usual setup applies, I would only assume. Which means we're going to have a good old Malfi on our side, going against the uh, Prince Arthas, which I'm assuming Kael'thas is probably not a huge fan of Arthas, because uh, Arthas kind of messed up all of his people's land. So we'll just uh, level him up to 20, get these things going. Start taking a look at the talents, which you can already see the level 1 talents right there. I really wish this went faster. It's not like we need a check here to make sure I don't level up too fast. There we go. So at level 1, we've got Mana Attic. Gather regen globes to increase maximum mana. So, okay, that's just maximum mana. It's not mana regen, it's just maximum mana. So that is an interesting difference from what you normally see at this level. We've got Convection, increases Flame Strike damage to enemies Gravity Lapsed. So you stun them and then you do more damage, not bad. Energy Royal, reduce Gravity Lapse cooldown per enemy hit. Um, which is only going to really be 
greatly useful if you activate the spheres first so you can get more more uh, enemies hit so it's three seconds for enemies hit you can hit up to three enemies so that will be a cooldown of nine seconds so yeah just a few second cooldown might be worth it then we have fell infusion activating verdant spheres heals which is obviously a um, sort of a sustain ability uh, ah, let's just grab convection. Then at level four, we've got mana tap. Flame strike restores mana per enemy kill. Enemy killed, not enemy hit. Enemy killed. Interesting. Interesting. We have nether wind increases gravity lapse range and speed. And we got a couple of standard abilities: gathering power, which is increases your power for each hero takedown. And in Venom, activate to deal damage over time. I think I'm going to I'm going to try this. Choose a talent. Then at level seven, we have Fission Bomb. Increases Living Bomb's explosion damage. Not bad. Sunfire Enchantment. Special attack on Verdant Spheres activations. Activating Verdant Spheres causes your next basic attack to instead shoot a spell, dealing 398 damage. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to try that one, but let's look at what else we've got here. Try Optimal. Gravity Lapse reduces Verdant Sphere's cooldowns. Hmm. So a lot of cooldown affecting abilities in here, which is interesting. Which I guess as he's sort of a, a mage, might expect that kind of thing to happen. And then we have Clairvoyance. Activate to reveal a target area and nearby enemies. So I'm going to have to try this one, because that is interesting. Then we got his Heroic Abilities. Let's just start with a good old Pyroblast. Then at level 13, Flamethrower increases Flame Strike range. Pretty standard there. Chain Bomb. Living Bomb Explosion spreads Living Bomb. Ooh, that, that is tempting. And then we have Pyromaniac. Living Bomb reduces basic ability cooldowns. Every tick of Living Bomb's damage over time reduce, effect reduces basic ability cooldowns by one second. See, another ability that reduces his cooldowns. So it's all about really spamming his spells as much as possible. That is his, his basic setup here, if you go for it. Then we have Spell Shield, reduces incoming ability damage. Um, I'm going to have to try that. Spread the Living Bomb. Then at level 16, we've got Ignite. Flame Strike applies Living Bomb to heroes. Ooh, wow. So there are a lot of possibilities with Kael'thas here. I'm quite intrigued. We have Backdraft. Living Bomb Explosion slows enemies. Gravity Throw increases Gravity Lapse stun duration. Not bad there. And Arcane Barrier. Gain a shield based on maximum mana. Activate to gain a shield equal to 200% of your maximum mana for 3 seconds. Which is where that level 1 talent where you increase your mana is is actually uh, quite important. Yeah, so it's definitely important. If you, if, so this thing would probably be best if you get that, that level 1 talent. Because then you, your shield is going to scale as the game goes on. Assuming you get to level 16, which is already pretty high as it is. But since I don't really want to sit here and farm orbs uh, for the next uh, half hour, let's just... Um, yeah, let's flame strike that. Then we have level 20 abilities. We got Rebirth, increases Phoenix duration, and may retarget. So it means you can send it somewhere else once you've used it. Pretty straightforward there. Presence of Mind, increased Pyroblast radius and lowers cooldown per enemy. 10 seconds per enemy hero hit. Well, we only got one enemy hero to hit here. I'm not sure I want to try that, but... We got Bolt of the Storm, pretty standard here. Activate Teleport. Arcane Power, activate to increase spell damage and restore mana. Restores 400 mana, increases ability power 15% for 5 seconds. That is interesting. Uh, yeah, let's try that. We'll, we'll give that a try, and then let's just toggle these minions and start figuring this out. Because this is going to be complicated. we got to try everything with and without Verdant Spheres. So let's actually, let's just start this off with a... Uh, how, do we, how do we target Pyroblast? How am I, how am I targeting Pyroblast? Won't well, let me target Pyroblast. The sun eats my path. Alright, well, let's just try Flame Strike first. Which, that was quite a lot of damage. What is my missing with Pyroblast? After two seconds, cast a slow moving fireball. I think there's a bug on Pyroblast. Wait, here he goes. 
So yeah, that was pretty slow. I don't know why it wouldn't let me cast it, though. So let's just make him a living bomb. Oh, he actually survived that. Oh, there, there was the bomb. There's the gravity. Oh, that was that was a pretty cool effect. So let's try to throw this gravity. Let's try to throw the living bomb there. So that yeah, and then it spreads the bomb. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. Let's get another flame strike going here. That one seems to be ground targeted. And we'll throw another bomb on Arthas, who I don't think is going to make it out this time. Nope. Okay, so let's actually uh, let's actually reset. Let's refresh forts, toggle minions, because I need to get this thing started again. And we actually have to try some of these abilities with the Verdant Spheres set. So be it. So we'll fire our Verdant Spheres and then use the Living Bomb. So now we can use Living Bomb again. And it actually spread it to Arthas this time. Now we'll try this, and this one increases the radius. Very good. Definitely a much bigger radius on that. Oh, okay. Can you outrun that? Oh, no, he cannot outrun that. Okay, so I think I actually have to target a hero with that. Reset clear cooldowns. Can I set that on these guys? Okay, so it has to actually target enemy heroes. And what do we have? We have not tried yet. Let's toggle minions again. Toggle minions again. On again. I'm going to have to try this so I can hit multiple enemies. I'm just killing things too fast here. It's Kael'thas. Okay, so we'll activate the spheres and throw out the gravity well. And that's definitely three people. And we're just going to pyroblast here, uh, Arthas here again. Make him a bomb, and we'll just throw out that. Okay, so now I want this one gives me... Mana and ability power. So we'll activate it. We'll get that mana back and make him a bomb. And we'll just do a flame strike. Okay, now let's reset levels. See so if we can try that Phoenix now. Deal with that right now, can't you, Malfi? Yeah, he'll he'll be fine. Okay, so yeah, we'll just grab the cool down here. Sure, why not hit that one? Um, yeah, we'll recruit, and then we'll get the phoenix. Okay. The sun lights my path. Yeah, you see, Arthas actually starts winning if we're not out here helping. Okay, burden spheres. Gravity bomb, which resets it, and we can use it again, and which we'll is living bomb, and we'll double living bomb him. And we'll stun him, and let's just throw down the Phoenix. The Phoenix gone along. So that's the Phoenix. Just kind of sits there and shoots things. Get back here. Get back here. I want to throw a bomb on you. Throw a bomb on you. I throw a bomb on buildings, and I can't throw a bomb on buildings. Okay, so that... So that is Kael'thas. I'm actually interested in being able to try some sort of cooldown build setup with him, though. But I'm, I'm not going to get to that right now, but... I hope you enjoy this first look at Kael'thas. Uh, and... Ah. I can't wait till his price comes down after release, because I definitely want to give him a try. But, uh... 15k gold maybe a bit rich for me right now so i hope you enjoyed it and uh stay hopefully we'll have uh, more uh, heroes coming in the future we can look at of course i still have to backtrack on some of the existing heroes so if you have any suggestions for heroes i have not covered that are already in the game that you would like to see just let me know and i can try to cover them but until now i hope you enjoyed this look at kael'thas and uh, have a day